Come on, one shot the team, sound like it. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's see if Zareki gonna smash you, Havaja. Wow. One attack and bye bye. One strong and bye bye. Was one strong and bye bye, you, Havaja. I'm not sure if they have the boost. I guess that the enemy was not boosted because you, Havaja, was not in time to boost. <laughs> kind of funny. Here we have a 5 out of 5 you, Havaja, and also with Dodge. Pretty interesting one to test it. With good HP and all, and it's similar like the previous one. You can try 5 for a 5, Hime 5 for a 5, that is hard one. Let's try the same strategy like before. If they don't have boost, maybe we'll have a chance. Come on, Zarek is my Yuhai, one second. Yes, one strong attack, bye bye, Yuhan. My Zarek is still the full HP, man, that's fucking crazy. Then is Hime versus all the characters, come on, resist. Nice. You have a win, good dodge and good shit, very nice. Was close. Now we're gonna put Zareki on the middle and try Zareki on the middle because it's a 5 for a 5 rock chat max defense. That's very very interesting. If Zareki can kill this dude, man, gonna be crazy and I guess that's gonna kill it maximum two strongs. We have a Hime 3 out of 5 and we have a Meninas 1 out of 5. My Yuha gonna go versus Hime and my Hime versus Meninas. So there we go. Smash chat! Wow, completely destroyed, one shot at the enemy, don't have boost chance, I guess, I mean, I suppose that don't have boost chance, if instantly destroyed, yeah, don't, don't boost chance, man, it's insane, eat the boost, nice, here we have chat, and also we have Yuha Baja 5 for a 5, I'm gonna use Zareki on the middle again, and just use Yuha versus Meninas, I mean, I'm not care at all, this is gonna be easy one, let's see if we can smash the two boosters at the same time, with Zareki on the middle, that's gonna be interesting one. Come on. Wow. The two boosters got completely off, man. Completely smashed, completely destroyed. This is no boost chance for the enemy. If the enemy is not using uh, invincibility characters, can patch his mice and it's just one out of five. Jesus Christ. We have here an interesting team. It's not very broken, but gonna be interesting to destroy two characters again at once. It's just Hime with invincibility, so that Yuha and that Zaraki gonna fly versus that Zaraki. Zaraki tai Zaraki. Bam. Ah, bye bye Yuha, bye bye Zaraki. Zaraki wake up now. But it's over. Yuha versus Hime 1 out of 5, Max Rock Yuha, nothing to say. Okay, so it's interesting to one shot all units without invincibility, and also it's interesting to defeat the boost of the enemy if the enemy don't have invincibility, like Yuha Baja of chat. For example, here the Z-Watch 5 out of 5, I can one shot it, and then the enemy don't gonna have boost, and without boost I can easily defeat it. This is not a very hard enemy, but this one, for example, that Yuha here, and Yama, I mean, both can be defeated easy with Zaraki just destroying the boost and the enemy without boost lose in front you because you have the boost and the debuff, so it's very important. Bam, bye bye the boost of the enemy and then done. Oh, are you <laughs> This meta or this strategy probably gonna change very soon with the next character PvP meta on the anniversary round 2. We will got a character with a skill that probably cancel boost and debuff, that is what we listen at. I said it's Zarek is wrong, in a wrong position now. So this is my bad, but we still win. Zarek should be down and just one shot Yuha, but we still win, was good damage on Yuha. Here we have chat 5 out of 5, that is the boost of the enemy, max defense and dodge and everything. We're gonna use Zarek just here to kill the boost of the enemy if we one shot at the beginning. Without boost, we can win this battle because the enemy only have debuff on the two characters, 5 out of 5. Are broken characters, but I'm gonna use my Hime versus Gantry Usai, 5 out of 5. And then my Yuha Baja versus Hime. And if we have the boost advantage, this could be a win. This is a very interesting match to finish, so... Hope that you enjoyed the PvP showcase. There we go, 9 anniversaries, Araki eating the chat boost. One more time, baby. Bankai! Yeah, it is the enemy boost, so I guess that my enemy should not be boosted, I'm not sure at all. I am boosted. Yes, my Yuha Baja survives the Hime because I'm boosted. I guess that, that was worse. Come on Yuha, yes, big win man, amazing win at the end. 
Super Sheep Boost Eater. Hope you enjoy the showcase. We are very cheap, brave souls. Bankai, baby. Very cheap, brave souls. Nine anniversary Zaragi Kempachi Shikai here PvP showcase. Brave battle showcase. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna share with you here how works Zaragi in PvP. It's an interesting character with poise. That is a very interesting skill to PvP to don't lose the damage. So I like it and I like to do PvP showcase also with the new character, so hope that you're gonna enjoy it. Remember that nowadays it's kind of hard with SP characters because a lot of units have invincibility, like Yama, like Orihime, like a lot of characters that have invincibility and the characters we're not gonna be able to do it damage. So Wishin, for example, don't gonna receive damage. Some characters don't gonna receive damage if you don't have the Pierce Invincibility skill from PvP, that here Orihime have it. And also Orihime have other stuff, but yeah, I mean... Ignore Brave Battle, Invincibility is what you need and we don't have a SP broken character, only Lilineto has this shit, I guess, that it's a bad one. So I have here Zareki to destroy all characters that don't have Invincibility, like Yuhabaja mainly. So we're gonna destroy Yuhabajas and other characters without Invincibility with a Zareki in PvP. The build is maximum spiritual pleasure, but with the HP, don't lose the HP because it's gonna be interesting to survive sometime. It's just one out of five Zareki. Here, the bonus abilities are Pierce Barrier, very important on PvP to just pass through the barrier and inflict the damage instantly. And then SP, which is going to be a constant damage on my Zareki. Also, we have 185 strong attack damage that is completely insane with Frenzy plus 3. The Disabler versus Arrancas is not going to be very good, we don't have a lot of Arrancas on PvP, but in the case that going to be some Arrancas like Neutral or something, going to be more broken with the SP up, if not going to be randomly. But we have a lot of strong attack, so it's close to Frenzy plus 5. It's completely a monster, so I hope that you're gonna enjoy it, the showcase, and let's see how gonna be the Zareki. The poise is very important, and the build here, the links are just cool down, and strong attack damage, mainly strong attack damage, because the full stam is not worth, if you lose 1 HP, you lose the full stam. Very important here to have the attack strategy, to win more SP and prioritize strong attacks at the beginning, so you're gonna use the strong attacks and you're gonna kill your enemies, it's supposed. Maybe gonna just start walking because it's a melee unit, we will see. And also then the other important point is here you have Aja to boost, here we boost Zaraki and Orihime to debuff the enemies. Also shield to Zaraki, that could be interesting if you use it at the beginning, but normally the people have pierced barriers so we're gonna lose the full stun probably. Yes or yes. Orihime with debuff, remember, my Orihime is built in max attack, that's the build of Orihime, literally max attack because it's a super broken character, max nat, max attack and just destroy and smash super fast, with nat, with all the damage of Orihime, 1 out of 5 Hime, pierce barrier and low stun damage boost as bonus abilities, and then at the end we have Yuhabaja the booster that is 5 out of 5 max attack, and this Yuhabaja is broken but is built on defense, defense and attack bonus abilities, it's the booster that is very important, and as I said, it's broken, max defense character, max damage taken, it's a fucking rock, and it's very worth for PvP. So that's the team, and those are the ones that gonna help Zaraki. The last that I wish to say is remember to move Zaraki where is Yuha Baja, for example here on this battle, we have Yama, Orihime and Yuha, I'm gonna put my Orihime versus Yama, my Yuha versus Hime, and then we're gonna destroy the Yuha Baja with Zaraki. There we go, PvP Showcase, Zaragi Kenpachi, 9th Anniversary, Bankai, baby! Beats. Bye bye! Yeah. 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 Yeah.